Hi everyone, it's Miss Morrow. Um, it's day five of no school, so I thought that I would check in with you and just say hi and I miss you. Um, and I was on Facebook last night and a friend of mine uploaded a really neat art video and I thought, what a cool opportunity. Um, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna record it and upload it and the kids can follow along with me. Um, so I've never done this before, but we can do hard things and so I'm gonna try and I hope that you can try with me. So I will show you my little workstation that I've got going on here. So I always put down a piece of plastic or a garbage bag when I'm going to do an art project, just so I can make sure that I'm um, getting any spilt paint that is going to happen because we're painting and it gets messy. So I'm just making sure that it's easy to clean up and I don't get any on the furniture. Um, so I'm just using paint here, acrylic paint that I got from the dollar store. Um, so you can use any kind of liquid paint that you want to, tempera paint or acrylic. Um, and then I have some forks and some spoons. I also have a cloth and a cup of water just in case I want to change colors or I need to clean anything up. So we'll get started here. You can see, okay. Okay, so first thing on our paper is our name. And in my classroom, we have a fun song that goes along with it. And maybe one day we will sing it for you, but not today. So get some name practice in there. So Miss Morrow is on my paper. So like I said, I have never done this before. Oh, Lucy. decided to join join us how nice so what I'm gonna do is I think that I'm going to make a butterfly so one thing on a butterfly is its body so I'm gonna start with the body so I have some green paint there in a spoon and a fork and I'm going to just put some paint on the tip of my fork. Now, you need quite a bit of paint on your fork, I think. So, let's see how this goes. So his body is a long sort of squished circle, right? So let's see, I'll bring you down here and we're gonna go, ooh, oh. See, this is the thing about trying new things is that sometimes we need to adjust what we're doing but we don't give up, we keep going. Oh, that was cool. So bring it down. That's pretty neat. Get even more paint. Now let's see if I don't push the fork down as hard. Oh yeah, going a little bit lighter. That's helping me move my paint around. Nice, that is really neat when you can see the fork take the paint, that's really cool. So now that I've done the body, I'm going to do the wings. So I'm just gonna put you down here for a second. Here we go. Excuse my technology. My book, my books are my document holder for now. So my document camera. So I'm done with the green paint. So I'm going to put down that spoon and fork and I'm going to grab my spoon with pink paint I'm going to get my fork all painty. Ooh, cool. Okay, so butterfly wings. I'm going to do two big curves. So there's, whoa, that turned out really cool. So I'm going to get some more paint. One curve, two curve. Oh, cool. And do the other butterfly wing on the other side of his body. Oh, cool. That's really neat. It's like you're using four paintbrushes at one time. Awesome. So another thing that we can do with the green paint, if we want to go back to the green paint, is do the butterflies antennas. So dip that in there. I'll show you what my wings look like and how I'm gonna do his antennas. So now I'm gonna go up. Whoa, cool. 
and go up. Cool. Awesome. So I just used a fork. Now, you can decorate the inside of your butterfly however you want to, really. If you are thinking that the fork isn't really working for you and you wanna get messy with your fingers, you can go ahead and do that. Um, butterflies like flowers, so you could even draw a flower in the background if you wanted to. Maybe with, I don't know, pencil crayons or crayons, whatever you feel like using. Um, I'm gonna keep working on mine a little bit and then um, for my class for my students I will upload a picture of what my final art project looks like on the class dojo and hopefully you guys can send me some pictures of what your art projects turn into um, I hope you're all staying safe and you're inside enjoying time with your family